So I think in terms of enhancing the viewer experience, um, you know, n anything native content, you know, you want to always try to make sure that you can avoid processing content as much as possible. So if, if we are able to distribute a native, uh, a native video format, then that's obviously going to be a, an improved consumer experience. So less, less touches on the video, the better. Um, in terms of new revenue opportunities, so what's really intriguing about this is that we know that consumption, video consumption, has moved, is starting, has been moving towards other devices, right? IP connected devices, whether that's phones, tablets, uh, connected TVs, what have you. So the the opportunity to adopt a, a DVB NIP standard to um, uh, by satellite industry to get that content out to support consumption on those devices, that is where the revenue opportunity exists because if the eyeballs are going there, that's where distribu distribution needs to focus. And so the revenue opportunities, I think, are, are, are there definitely. Similar to my, the last answer, um, because the industry, if the industry can really take, uh, take seriously the adoption of DVB and IP, and then that opens up though the consumption or the market where the video is being consumed on those different devices, the IP enabled devices. That is where the teleport industry um, has uh, a real opportunity to support the distribution, to support the consumption on those IP connected devices. So, I mean, I think it's, it's a real growth area. Um, there are some obstacles, um, but you know, if, if the focus can be put and applied towards adoption and realizing that the consumption is going, has been going to those uh, IP enabled devices, then you know, the, the opportunities are there. Uh, I would say the answer is yes, but it can be averted or bypass the obstacle. So the the install base, um, you know, has its limitations, right? Our equipment in the market, some of it's been in the in the market for more than ten years. It's not able to readily support a high amount of DVB and IP content. So. For, from the equipment manufacturers, you know, such as ourselves, we're going to have to really understand that that is where the eyeballs are going. We need to be able to support native IP. And so if we and other hardware manufacturers are able to do that, provide the, the systems that our customers need in order to support where the eyeballs are going, then everything should work out in the end but you know of course you know uh, getting a, a whole new tech refresh is not cheap so I think that's really where the hurdles are right um, there's gonna have to be a tech refresh but at, you know how much is that going to cost and then when is the next iteration of uh, you know hardware gonna have to be deployed in order to support the next generation of IP based video so obstacle, but it doesn't have to be. You know, I think that depends on how satellite industry, teleport industry um, takes, like how seriously do they take DV, uh, basically the video industry, medium broadcast, video. We look at video as cross-vertical. It's a cross-vertical imperative. So e-learning, uh, enterprise video, so corporate training, corporate communications, um, uh, troop welfare, crew welfare. So we see it as, as cross video. So if if we're able to look at things and understand that well over 80% of internet traffic is video, and it's not just premium uh, entertainment content, then I think you know the, you know opportunities will present themselves. Um, it can have a major impact, a major positive impact on the industries if we look at things in that form and fa form or fashion. So it really, it depends on 
it's really dependent on us if we want to adopt it or not. But the opportunities, I believe, are there. Thank you.